welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Ah, this is going to be more of a heavier video and not one that I would normally want to put on my channel or be associated with, but I feel like given all the outrageous lies and falsities that are being put online about friends of mine, I feel it is necessary to make this video. Um, I do want to say that I am personal friends with many people that are involved in this video, so I do consider myself a very neutral party. I do want to discuss my personal experiences with Rich Lux because I want you guys to know exactly the type of person that he is and how he is uh, puppeteering a lot of the behavior that's going on given this whole entire situation. I do want to put a disclaimer out there that I'm not being asked or told to make this video. I'm not the type of girl that you can ask or tell to do things like this and that I'm going to do them. I do what the fuck I want to do. So with that being said, Rich Lux is someone that I considered a friend for many years since I met him in the summer of 2019. I want nothing but the best for him. I wish he would be a better person than what he is, but he just truly is not. His behavior over the last few years has been absolutely disgusting and appalling at times. There has been many of us that have tried to privately and publicly speak to him about his piss poor behavior, but it just falls on deaf ears because he just truly does not care. He sees the majority of people around him to be beneath him and he is better than everybody. I have personally watched Rich hand a wallet, a little card reader for about $20 from a Michael Kors store to one of our friends and said, here girl, so you can stop being poor. He loves to call myself because I was working a regular nine to five job at the time. And another one of our friends who is, a, you know, does not have a lot of money. He loves to call us poor. Um, I watched him as he handed this wallet and he started saying, I'm going to make you the next Teresa Romer. No one wants to be the next Teresa Romer. I also think it's really funny that you like to call us poor because I absolutely remember me being the peasant that you see that, that I am or think that I am. You handed me your card and all the purchases that you wanted to make and your assistance to wait in line for you and check out for you and your card got declined. And then when I had to tell you that your card got declined, you handed me a second card that also got declined. It was not until the third card that you handed me until your transaction was approved. Also speaking of being poor, you called myself and the same friend poor again in a Walgreens store probably about a, a year or so later. And I also think it's really funny that you call us poor given the fact that majority of your videos when you're sitting at these long tables and you're like, okay guys, what's on the agenda for today? You're sitting in the media center of the high rise apartment that you live in. That's not your house. You don't have offices. That's the media center. It's not something that you own. Your pretentious behavior is absolutely disgusting and no one likes it. I have tried to privately talk to you about this multiple times. I always told you that people would like you if you were a lot more relatable. This whole entire you stepping out of uber blacks while someone is holding uh, an umbrella for you and opening up your door and someone else is recording you while you're walking out of this SUV pretending that there's droves of people in awe that Rich Lux is there. Girl, no one's looking at you. No one sees you. No one knows who you are. Just be fucking normal. It's not that hard. Ah, <sighs> Okay, with that being said, there's another person that uh, we are friends with that lost their Chanel glasses in a Target store. And you could give a shit less. I mean, I don't know how much those Chanel glasses are because again, I'm a poor peasant. But I would assume that if anyone lost any of their items, especially if it was something of rich luxes, we would have to make a quick and, and fast U-turn to go back to a store so you could retrieve your lost items. But Rich couldn't be bothered. Rich said, oh girl, just, just replace them, just buy a new one. But that's not how it works because the world does not revolve around you, Rich. This is the same friend that you left at Disney Epcot knowing that her backpack was with your entourage. You didn't know if this person had their wallet, if they had their cell phone. Luckily she did and she was able to call an Uber, but you were so impatient because you know the Disney trips were all about you and everything is about Rich Lux that you couldn't be bothered to wait 20 minutes while someone went and got an ice cream that they wanted to have because they wanted to experience Disney as well and enjoy it as well. 
You also were extremely rude and disrespectful and rushing this person the whole entire time you were at Disney with them because you could not be bothered to wait around while they went into a store and browse very quickly because they were looking for a couple items. On one of these shopping trips, you had bought this huge trunk that you had to have. I don't know what designer made it, whatever, I don't care. But you left this huge oversized trunk with this huge duffel bag and this ugly tacky track suit that's probably fake as hell because we know you like to buy fakes. Don't try to front. Anyway, so you left this huge trunk when we were all leaving an Airbnb and you had left for your flight early that morning and I woke up and I saw this big trunk here and I texted you and I said, hey, uh, you left your stuff and you're like, oh, you can just send it to me. I'm not your servant. I'm not your assistant. I don't mind helping. I don't mind helping a friend out. But what I do mind is the fact that you couldn't have enough respect for another person to sit there and say, hey, listen, I obviously can't take this with me. I need to leave this behind. You live locally. Would you mind mailing it for me? Which I would have absolutely done. But since you see me as a peasant and as a poor person, I guess you just decide that, you know, oh, she's poor. She can do it for me. She's a peasant. She can do it for me. You're rude and disrespectful. And I didn't appreciate it. But I still sent you your stuff because, again, I was trying to be the better person. Your assistants multiple times that every time they travel with us have complained about your outrageously disgusting and rude and disrespectful behavior. And it's not Fong. Fong has made plenty of videos about you on his channel, but it is not about Fong. There's other assistants that you have that have aired grievances about you multiple times and said that they've also tried to speak to you about your absolutely disgusting behavior and you do absolutely nothing about it and you sweep it under the rug every single time. I personally have tried to talk to you about your pretentious behavior. Like I said about you coming out of all these uber blacks, pretending that there's droves of people throwing themselves at your feet and at your every whim, waiting to get a tiny little glimpse of the famous rich looks. And I used to always tell you all the time, you know, why don't you just be normal, be your regular self, be more relatable. And you're like, oh, it's for the brand, it's for the brand. You don't have a brand, Rich. No one cares about your brand. I know in your eyes, you think of yourself as a, as a Jeffree Star and that you have a brand, but you just truly don't. Speaking of being poor, you came to me and asked me, hey, do you wanna make $200? Will you drive us to this casino that is like an hour and a half away? Sure, hell yeah, I'll do it. Remember, I'm poor, I'll do it. So I drive you to the casino. We're there for a long time. We have a great time. But you go over to another mutual friend of ours and you convince her to pay $200 under a totally different reason and saying, oh, hey, she's a single mom. We should give her some money, blah, 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 for taking us, blah, blah, blah. But you, the story that you sold me and the story that you sold this other person were two completely different things. Again, your behavior is absolutely appalling and disgusting. Okay, so let's talk about the uh, cake incident that you made a video about. I wasn't even aware until a few days ago that you made a video about this the cake incident. Anybody that knows me, I am highly and deathly allergic to almonds. I cannot have almonds even on my skin. I'll break out, I'll get hives everywhere. It's really bad. Rich bought a cake for Nick for his birthday even though I had already purchased a cake for Nick for his birthday and Rich knew about this. But no, Rich being rich and having to be the center of attention had to get this grandiose cake for Nick, even though I was having one made that would have been really funny and really shady and Nick would have appreciated it. But like I said, Rich being rich, he had to be the center of attention and be the star of the show. And not only did he purchase this cake, he also went to another friend of ours, Dustin and said, hey, listen, do you want to get in on this cake? Blah, 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 blah. And Dustin sent him $175 for this cake. There's probably no way in hell this cake even costs $175. So this cake had almond extract in it. I cannot have almond extract. Again, I'm deathly allergic to it. When I took a bite of this cake, I could tell right away that it had almond extract. I've had almond extract before. I know what it tastes like. So I could tell right away that it had almond extract in it. I spit it out. When it was like halfway swallowed, I spit it out. My friend gave me uh, two to three allergy pills. I took them right away. Like I said, I didn't go to the hospital. I didn't think it was necessary. 
but my um, tongue and mouth did swell and I could feel my th uh, throat tighten a little bit. Now, Rich claims that during this whole entire time, he was checking on me and making sure I was okay and everything was fine. And that's absolutely 100% not true. Did you check on me? Yes, you did. But you also the whole entire time harassed me repeatedly and asked me and demanded repeatedly that I apologize to one of your assistants because I made a joke after they spilled a drink and everyone laughed. Did I make a joke about the assistant? No. Did I make a joke about the situation because they accidentally spilled a drink? Yes. Did this person find it funny and laugh? Yes, they did. I was having this allergic reaction and I had multiple people around me checking on me and sitting with me in the living room and making sure I was okay. You rich were not one of them. You are completely lying and you're making it seem like you cared a lot more than you did and you did not. You couldn't even remember what I was allergic to. That's how aloof you were about the situation. That's how much you just truly did not give a shit. I also want to put out there that the next morning after I was fine and everyone woke up, um, I do want to put out there that I did go ask this assistant and ask them. I said, hey, were you upset about this situation? And he goes, absolutely not. Why would you think that? And I said, well, Rich came up to me multiple times while I had a closed throat and a swollen tongue and mouth and demanded that I apologize to you. And he's just looking at me like I'm nuts going, no, I, I didn't care. Again, Rich, you were a piece of shit and you sure as shit acted like it. Now, I myself love to joke around and I can take a really good joke, but there's plenty of times where you have personally talked about multiple people in our friend group. You've said a lot of disgusting, appalling things about people in our friend group that are completely false and no one wants to hear it and no one finds it funny. We've all talked to you about your behavior and like I said earlier, you could just truly care less. So speaking of your friends that you love to talk poorly about, let's talk about Van Luke. Now, I personally do not know Van Luke all that well. I've done a reading for her. I have talked to her on social media. I don't think Van Luke's a bad person. Do I think that she is following someone that she believes is her friend? Yes, but I also feel very bad for Van Luke because I feel like she's being used as a pawn and a mouthpiece to do Rich Lux's bidding. As you've noticed, Rich did make a few statements on Twitter, but he is not stuck up for himself whatsoever as far as social media is concerned anymore other than going on Van Luke's live. He also did not make a video, even though he claimed he was going to make a video about this whole entire situation going back and forth with Dustin Daly. And he decided not to do so. He, instead, he has someone else do his bidding because he doesn't truly want that kind of drama on his channel. He doesn't want to have to defend himself. He wants other people to do it because in, in his mind, in some way, fashion, shape, or form, it makes him not look as bad if other people are sticking up for him. But the truth is that he is using you, Van Luke. He really is. He's using you to do his bidding. I'm sure he's sitting there encouraging you. Oh yeah, girl, make this video. Yeah, talk about this and blah, 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 blah. But he's having you sit here and he's telling you lies. He's having you sit here and stick up for him and you just truly don't know who he is. If you truly knew who he was, you would, you would understand that he has told other people in our friend group that you paid him, I believe, $1,000 to hang out with him and make videos with him. He also claims that he loves to have you around for those $100 super chats that you like to send him on YouTube. So let's talk about the video that Dustin made. Now, I find it really funny that Rich is claiming online that he never knew that these videos were going to be made, but that's not true because he also claimed that I called him and had a conversation with him about it, which is also not true. I sent him a voice memo and I had said to him, I said, girl, Dustin's really upset about, you know, your thumbnail and he's very upset that you deleted his comment on YouTube under your channel. So with that being said, I did tell him, hey, listen, is it, was it a, a bad decision? Sure. Should you use that thumbnail? No. Should you change the title? Absolutely. Was it in the, in the best light? Not at all. Do I think it's the worst thing in the whole entire world? I really don't think it's the absolute, absolute worst considering he's known for these very clickbait, very shock and awe titles and thumbnails. Rich is kind of known along the same lines. So did I think it was the absolute worst thing in the whole entire world? No. Do I think it's done in extremely poor taste and it should have been changed? Absolutely. 
Rich was very much aware that Dustin was making a video because I myself told him multiple times, I said, hey, he's gonna make a video about this. He's really upset about it. And in the group chat that Rich is a part of, it was also told directly to Rich from Dustin, I'm going to make a video. I also believe that Dustin sent him the thumbnail after he made it. So Rich saying that he didn't know that this video was being made was an absolute, complete, 100 million percent fucking lie. Okay, so let's talk about the infamous Christmas party of 2019 of Nick Snyder's. Nick has been one of my best friends ever since the eighth grade. And as you guys all know that he did suffer a relapse in Christmas of 2019. I lived in Orlando at the time and the only person that was close to him who was actually three floors below him was Rich. I reached out to Rich when I had realized that Nick was in danger and he was suffering a relapse and I asked Rich to get involved and to help me get help for Nick because again, I was states away and I could not be there to help him because I was at work because again, I'm a poor peasant. And when everything went down, Rich or someone in his entourage was taking videos of Nick and his behavior. I do think that it was being taken for Nick's safety because there were police involved at that time because I, like I said, I did get help for Nick. With that being said, I just found out a few days ago, you were showing these videos to multiple people online that I don't know if you thought it was funny. I don't know if you were trying to get people to talk badly about it. I don't know if you were trying to get, you know, I don't know, some sort of like kudos for it or whatever. Your behavior of showing these videos in an extremely derogatory, disgusting fucking way is unacceptable and something I will never, ever forgive you for. I called you in confidence. I called you as a friend. I called you as someone that I trusted to help my friend, to help our friend because he was suffering. And you took it upon yourself to not only save these videos for years, years, but you said, oh, it's about that time again. It's time for a relapse again. You're fucking disgusting. You're a piece of shit. And I have no respect for you anymore, nor will I ever ever, ever have any ounce of forgiveness for you for doing that. Shame on you. Your mother would be fucking disgusted at your behavior because if you were my kid, I would be disgusted. And your mother's a very, very, very nice lady. Shame on you. I hope that you do change your ways, but I really hope that your public, your fans, your entourage, the people that you have speaking for you really learn and get to see the type of person that you truly are. You're disgusting. You're despicable. Anyway, that is the rest of this video. I know it's a mess. I know it's not well put together. My thoughts are kind of crazy. My brain is everywhere right now. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.